Diddy is absolutely done after CNN has released exclusive video footage proving that he is truly horrible. After trying to deny claims about him for a while now, the truth has come out and it's not any truth that makes him look good in any way. Several lawsuits have been filed against Diddy, five in the last couple of months, which has also led him to being the subject of a federal criminal investigation. He's been denying what's come out about him, all the allegations and things stated in the lawsuits against him, but the situation is just proving to be more and more serious by the day, especially now that there's video evidence that really shows him for who he really is, and there's no denying video footage. The footage is of Diddy and his ex Cassie. It's hotel surveillance footage from March of 2016. The video is truly gut-wrenching, and I'm not going to play it, but it has gone around online since CNN released it, but it's far too triggering to play here, and in the video, Cassie is seen coming down the hotel hallway towards the elevator, and soon after, you see Diddy running down the hallway towards her. The video shows him coming coming at her and it's a complete nightmare. It seems he tried to drag her back to the room. The video continues as he is seen visibly angry, throwing an object, and the footage seems to match up with what Cassie had said in her lawsuit filed last year. Back in November, Cassie filed a federal lawsuit against Diddy in New York federal court. In it, she described a number of horrible things and at one point had described a time at a hotel and said that she tried to leave while he was asleep and this footage seems to line up with what she was saying in the lawsuit. In Cassie's suit, she noted that video footage did exist, but she believed that Diddy had paid the hotel $50,000 for the security footage. The day after she filed her lawsuit, the two settled for an un disclosed amount. And a lot of people have been talking about the fact that his quickness to want to settle and make this go away was extremely telling. Diddy's lawyer came out at the time to try and say that the decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat out denial of the claims as Diddy has tried on multiple occasions to deny, 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 and now he just looks like a lying clown with footage like this out here. When Cassie filed her lawsuit, he denied the allegations through his lawyer and alleged that Cassie tried to blackmail him for $30 million before filing her lawsuit. And now there's tons of people online who are talking about how Cassie deserves an apology because there were people doubting her and that is just so sad, especially now that there's footage it's sad that she received any backlash or any hate at all at the time when she was brave enough to file this lawsuit and come forward with her story. Now, Cassie wasn't the only one to file a lawsuit against Diddy. Like I said, there's been several in the last couple of months. Five days after Cassie and Diddy reached a settlement, a former Syracuse University college student also sued Diddy. A third lawsuit was filed against Diddy in November and then another in December. The same day as this lawsuit filed in December, Diddy posted to his Instagram saying, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. The next day, Tiffany Redd, a Grammy-winning singer-songwriter who has written songs for Zendaya, Joe Jonas, and many others, published an open letter to Diddy via the Rolling Stone, alleging that Cassie's claims were true. And at the end of last year, businesses had started cutting ties with Diddy, and Hulu also announced that they would no longer be going forward with making a reality show surrounding him and his family, as that was something that was in the works before all of this started coming out about him. In February of this year, Diddy was sued one once again, this time by a producer, Rodney Jones, who goes by Lil Rod, and he revealed a lot in his 70-page lawsuit. But of course, Diddy's lawyers came out to say that he was a liar and he was looking for a payday. But almost a month later, Diddy's home in Los Angeles and Miami were raided. The investigation was led by the Department of Homeland Security, and after he was raided, his attorney, of course, came out to give a statement to the press. Business Insider wrote, Combs has denied all the allegations against him. In response to request for comment from Business Insider after the raids, his attorney Aaron Dyer said in a statement, Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, 
nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent. And obviously we know now, given this video footage that has come out this week, that he's not entirely innocent in all of this, and that some of these accusations against him do seem to have been backed up this week. Now, since his home has been raided, conversations surrounding Diddy and his past have been going around online as people have just wondered, what is going on in the investigation. People have called out those who have been associated with Diddy in the past and also speculated on others who might have involvement in what he's been accused of. But he seemingly tried to just push through the noise and act like everything is all lies despite the fact that his home is getting raided and that is no small casual matter. This week, Diddy tried to once again insinuate that he isn't what the media and lawsuits have alleged and posted to his story and his Instagram feed saying, Time tells truth with the caption, love. But he certainly looks like a fool for this given that he posted this and then three days later, this video footage came out of him and Cassie and it completely backs up certain claims in her lawsuit and with him trying to paint her out to be a liar, he is truly looking like a clown and a criminal. And to think that this is the man who tried to rebrand himself as this man of love truly is crazy. Like what is wrong with him? Obviously a lot, but there is just something so eerie and weird about this. He's gone by many names over the years, Puffy, Puff Daddy, P Diddy, Love, Brother Love, and he legally changed his middle name from John to Love a while back, making him Sean Love Combs, which he confusingly tried to explain on the Graham Norton show a while back. Yeah, but for me, this is actually, my real life is, is my art, and so there's been different eras. So there's been the Puff Daddy era, the P Diddy era. Then I dropped the P, then it was the Diddy era. Yeah. And now, this is the ultimate goal. I have become love. Okay. <laughs> it just feels like such a joke hearing him talk about how he changed his name to love, given all that's come out about him. Like, looking back on these interviews of him talking about changing his name, it just doesn't sit right. It's weird and there's something about it that is just not right. The fact that he wants to represent this word that is the total opposite of everything that's been said about him. It's just wild. Like we're seeing with our own eyes through video footage what he is seemingly capable of and this isn't even the full extent of it and he is the total opposite of what this word represents. He's the opposite of love. Like this is not love that he is putting out into the energy. It's not good vibes. It's not any of the things that he is talking about. He's talked about feeling like this frequency. It's just ridiculous when you're seeing this footage and then you're seeing how he's trying to act in these interviews. It comes across so fake. There's also tons of videos going around of times that he's talked highly of Cassie and thanked her in award show speeches, on different talk shows, and you're looking at this footage and you're just thinking, this is crazy for him to be acting and presenting himself one way and then he's obviously very different and not even behind closed doors. I mean, obviously we can't even imagine what would happen there, but this footage, this is taken in a public place. They were in a hotel and there's video footage of it and in Cassie's lawsuit she talked about the fact that she did end up leaving after this particular hotel situation and returning because she felt as though Diddy was going to be more upset and more angry if she had left to go to her apartment and so she came back to the hotel and alleged that the staff at the hotel told her to leave to get away because they had seen the security camera footage and were frankly, afraid for her, but she was just in this cycle at the time, this toxic cycle, which is just so sad. But that's what's come out this week, what's been exposed about him. These coming weeks will surely be interesting as people gear up to hear from his lawyers. I'm sure they have a statement. They haven't put one out yet. People are also still wondering what's going on in this investigation, what it will reveal. But as of right now, that's what's been made public. Let me know your thoughts on all of this, you guys. If you guys have been keeping up with this case surrounding Diddy, let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.